I'm Curious Cat Cosplay, cosplayer, digital painter, and occasional photo editor. Hi, I'm James Hennon, author of Anatomy of a Cosplayer, Tales from Behind the Mask, and I'm here with Curious Cat Cosplay, my Legion of Supervillains conspirator. Hi! Um, today we're going to find out everything about Cat and her um, cosplay experiences. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, I was in college, and uh, my friends convinced me to go to a Comic-Con. I really liked geeky stuff anyway, um, but I'd never been, and so they were like, let's go, and so we did. And I made a Harley Quinn cosplay out of all the random red and black stuff in my closet. And it was so bad, like, it was awful, and I wanted to revisit it for years, and finally this year I did. Like, I redeemed myself, but I had fun anyway. It didn't matter that I looked terrible, but it was great. Oh no, um, I don't actually know how many I have. Like, I would have to stand and, like, count, but I honestly can't remember because my closet is just loaded with them. Um, right now my favorites are, uh, my Gotham City Sirens. I wanted to have a very solid Catwoman, Poison Ivy, and Harley Quinn. And right now I am just finishing up Poison Ivy, so that is a goal of mine that I've had from the very beginning, and I'm proud to say that I'm finally completing it. Okay, so my costumes are both a mix of uh, bought and made. Sometimes I will buy a base piece and kind of decorate it because that's really the um, crafting part that I'm most into are things like painting and like stitching details onto things. Uh, so really that is my favorite. My favorite thing is to homebrew characters when possible. So instead of taking an already existing variant, I really like to create my own when I'm able to. So Poison Ivy, uh, I am working on that right now, like I said. So I am starting out with a base bodysuit that I actually found online, and I am buying so much plant material from so many stores, and I'm going to be sewing that onto the bodysuit itself. I also wanted to think about accessories that I might want, like leaves for my hair, or like the right kind of shoes to have with it, and that's kind of what I do. I come up with a design, and then I go and find the pieces to make it happen. I would say that's any time that I end up wearing Supergirl and because there's always little kids that see me and they're like ah it's really Supergirl and like uh, it just makes my life like that is the best just being the character to a child I think that's my favorite costuming experience I would say probably uh, one of the last cons I went to there were some rogue spankers among the crowd um, where people would just come up and just smack me on the butt and that was very uncomfortable. <laughs> Eventually I went and I told security about it, just that was a very unexpected thing that happened. Uh, luckily, in my case, not as often as I thought I might, um, but occasionally uh, it does happen. I actually had one guy who followed me to multiple different conventions uh, because he was interested in me, and he kind of followed me around all day, and it was very creepy, and I got very personal, detailed fantasy messages from him in my DMs, and so uh, in that case I actually had to go to security at the next convention I went to after that, and they were on the lookout for him. Um, I've had a lot of guys who like wanted me to rape them, or like otherwise kind of wrote to me with their personal fantasies that they have about me, and that's not really what I'm here for. I'm honestly just kind of a geek. Just guys dick pics just don't like it's it's just not good just don't do it I mean I've always been a geek I would say I mean ever since I was a little kid and I think it's a wonderful way to kind of express my personal geekdom and share it with other people and to gather with other like-minded people who share that as well I really like the creative outlet of it a lot and I think there's a lot of good in the community, uh, despite some of the more negative aspects. I mean, I'm kind of boring, honestly. Like, I go, I work all day, I come home, and I sleep. Like, that's my routine. I also like to do some digital painting on the side just for relaxation, and uh, sometimes I photo edit. Usually cosplay pictures for myself or other people, um, but sometimes just other things, whatever I feel like. I like to have art projects in my life. I, I need like a creative outlet all the time just to keep myself happy. 
Um, I've also been doing my Instagram, so you can find me there at Curious Cat Cosplay. And I have a Facebook page too by the same name. Um, I would say cosplayer, I think. I just feel like costuming, it has more of a serious ring to it, and I kind of look at this in more of a lighthearted sort of way. Uh, well, you know, when you receive enough dick pics, um, it changes a person.